everybody, welcome back. It's Chewy. Um, in this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how much of an idiot I am. <laughs> okay, so I've been looking at this from how this mod used to be, where you use the yellow laser lens for Alamodium. Uh, if I'd actually paid attention in JEI, you don't use Alamodium. You don't use the lens. You use actual Alamodium which takes nine blocks. And you get the ingots by using power to energize the smelter. So I need refined glowstone, flux infused, infused ingots, energetic alloys, deorium, soul infused ingot, and nitro crystal. <laughs> okay. So that's not gonna happen for a bit. So this is just collecting ore. <laughs> I mean, it's good at what it's doing. You know, it's getting me a decent amount of whatever. Um, however, it's really not. I mean, I guess I can take the glowstone. But uh, also, um, the power that I have generating is nowhere near enough to get into power um, effectively right now. Uh, I need uranium and I need bigger reactors. And in order to do that, uh, I need to get to cobble state or deep slate. Um, so this is, we need crushed deep slate and that gives us a 4% chance of uh, uranium based on our mesh, right? So if we go all the, all the way up to netherite, it's a 12% chance, which, you know, ain't, it's not terrible. Um, and we can do that pretty easily. However, getting deep slate is part of the problem. And then getting it crushed is the other side of the problem. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in the way JEI is going lately because um, I was looking for a way to... to so I needed ancient debris for a scrap. And so I was looking for cobbled dark stone. Is that what it is? Um, black stone. Black stone. All right. Crushed black stone. Okay. JEI shows you these methods, but doesn't show you anything else. Uh, this can actually be done with the flux hammer, which, um, all right, of course, the last corner I turn to. Um, so this is set up where this is exporting Blackstone out of the system and into the crusher or the flux hammer, which is actually working. Uh, then it's giving us crushed Blackstone sifted with another plate you know, we're on, we're okay. It's automating it. I, I have enough nether, netherite to do what I need, but it's given me 10 there, and I just put another stack in the, um, the crusher, or the mechanical squeezer, sorry. Um, so our scraps, we're at 177. So we got a good bit of netherite already, um, 55 pieces, so that'll get us okay for now. Um, we'll just let this build up. And I'm going to, eventually what I'm going to do is put another one in here right next to it with um, crushed deep slate. And then so it's going to pick up, uh, it's going to actually just dump it into the refined storage system. And then we can craft it and then basically um, we can crush it or we can run it through the mechanical squeezer and then we can use it for fuel, right? So bigger reactors takes far less to get into than a fully fledged power mod. And that's going to, we're going to need that to feed the power, um, whatever they call it, the node, the energizing node. I don't know. I forget what it is. So I, what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and, oops, yeah, here. So I started the basics for the power mod. Um, Where's this dumb thing?
Here it is. Energizing orb. Alright. So we now have at least a thing that we need to make. Um, to make the items. Uh, I'm going to set this up in here, I think. Uh, there's a couple of different... Um, Modular router, modular, modular routers, Jesus, modular router um, ways of automating this, right? Um, but at first, we're going to need a point. To feed this with power. All right. And eventually, we're going to actually, we'll, we'll finish or we'll add to, we'll add to, the power generation once we get the bigger reactors up and running. Um, so what I did was I made the deep slate seeds, which I'm going to um, actually make some changes over here. Um, so I'm going to put these on the bottom one, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to put an external storage here. Um, we're going to plant these here. Okay, and so we're going to give up some of these Inferium here because we have enough generating. Um, and I built three external storages, so actually I might as well go ahead and put these here. And now these need to be set to extract only. There we go. Um, because we don't want anything adding to these chests. <laughs> right. I mean, these are big chests, that, but we don't need anything additional. Okay. Now. What I need to do is make a, a series of... Let's make some quartz-enriched iron. A couple stacks. Alright. So now we need... Three network transmitters. So we'll need six of those. Six of those. Six of those. And that should give us what we need. So three transmitters. Three receivers. And eventually we'll need more. But for these three farms that we have going, um, and then we'll also need a network card. Okay, they don't stack. All right. So now, so what we need to do is put a receiver Oop. okay now that is giving us locations to send from So what basically we do is shift right click, shift right click, all right, and that will give us uh, the locations of those receivers, and then the transmitters will go from here. And as much as I wanted to keep this symmetrical, that's probably not going to happen. All right. It doesn't really matter which one of these go in, but... So now, if we look what's out there, so redstone essence, we can see everything that's in there. Um, deep slate, all right. It's already made more seeds. That's pretty crazy. Um, and our essence, right? So we can make a bunch of essence. And so now we can make a crafting recipe for that. Um, And we can put a, in our, um, 
Oh, I keep wanting to call this a compact machine. But basically now we can use the this in an exporter for this new one. And we can have a, um, it'll be crafting deep slate. It'll be crushing it. And then it'll be sifting it with another right mesh and dumping it into uh, an ender chest, right? So what we need to do is make another, um, uh, what am I thinking of? What's it called? Flux hammer. There we go. Flux hammer. All right. And we have a sieve already. We only need one. Oh, um, yeah. And then we need the crafting card. So at refine crafting, crafting upgrade. There we go. craft didn't work um so those will go in the exporter we need another one of the exporters for some reason uh, for some reason it doesn't like that recipe so i'll make a couple of them Whoop. all right so we have an exporter and we need some refined storage cable because we only need one oh we're out of power oh boy So adding those extra receivers um, hurt our power capabilities already. Because every every time you add one of these on, I want to take that one out. Um, What are you guys doing here? Oh. To steal this one. Temporarily. to make some magnetic, magnetic dynamos. I also need, okay, I have some of those, all right. Good grief. And I think I can stick one right there. Of course. to spin it there we go 
Now these are already upgraded, so I have to see what I have for upgrades at thermal. Flux. I don't I don't know if I can fit those in. Nope, those don't work in the magmatic dynamos. Oh. Okay. Alright. So So we need, huh. all right, I can do the um, upgrades. You can always use more in bar. Silver. Wow, this is ridiculous just to get to um, just to get to this, and that, and it's really not even just that, it's um. Like I've got to do way more than that, but that's I need the power to create the all the modium. But I need this to get the generator going, the bigger reactors. Okay, augment. Oops, augment. Um, are you kidding me? Okay. All right, that's 16. That should give us plenty. Oh, Signalum. Half a stack. Okay, our Enderium, Lumium, Wait a minute, we have quartz. Oh, it's not... Okay, never mind. It's not the quartz. We're missing the... Wire charge. That's what we're missing. Perfect. Probably put those in a uh, <laughs> crafting recipe, but um, anyway, so I totally lost track of where we were. Um, okay, so this. All right, so we need an 
We don't need that. We need more cable. All right. Okay, that's correct. Our sifter should be correct as well. Now we can come off of that straight. All right, we're getting power. <clears throat> I'll be a tiny, tiny, tiny power. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but that should give us what we need. All right. So now we need our exporter. So <clears throat> we also need a mesh for that. Oh, this is only going to give me cobble state, cobble deep state. Okay. So we can do quite a bit here. All right. We can now so that export is not going to work that well once I start filling it. Okay. Um I think what I need to do uh yeah. So ender chest Okay, so that's now putting it into the importer. Okay. Now let's get back to the mesh. Mesh. Iron, gold, diamond. And I 
forgot my under chest. Perfect. So now it is doing, it is sifting the crushed cobblestone or deep slate, and that should be getting us some uranium. All right. Um, so that's part of our problem here. Now, the, the other problem is, kind of need to automate this. We don't have one for machine casing, huh? No, Blackstone won't work. Okay, so Crafter, let's try this again. Do. Boom. Okay, and I want the... I don't usually make the refined storage wrench, but it can be helpful. So when we automate... There we go. The... The crafter has to face the back of the device that's inputting, right? And so what we need now is the back to be input and output. No, actually, it just needs to be input. Okay. Because then we can output through the, we're already outputting through the bottom. Perfect. All right. And I'm actually going to leave these out for now simply because I'm not going to be able to put the crafting recipes in there. All right. Um, so, so we need a, a couple of things. Let's put our, let's make our processors in there. Okay, so the, the basic part of these are already auto-crafted. So let's see. Oh, duh, dummy. Okay, so uh, in order for that to work, I need a transmitter and receiver over there. Or actually, the receiver goes over there. Okay, so our receiver is going to go here. Cable is going to go there. 
if right click on there. All right. Um, there we go. So we have auto crafting for some of our, what do you call it? Our, um, our smeltable portions, uh, recipes. All right. So that's good. Uh, where are we at with time? All right. I think I'm going to turn this into two episodes. So I'm going to call it here. And then we'll call this one episode, and then we'll, when we finish off, we'll actually get the rest of it, right? Um, and then we'll finish for good our uh, bigger reactors. Uh, I am going to have to actually figure out a place. So this is our center point. Um, I may go down another level just for the reactor another re a reactor closet so to speak um and then we'll go from there so if you made it this far thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and if you feel so inclined we do have a patreon now and it's uh listed in the description thanks again